The Magical Voyage. In a small coastal town named Harbor's End, where the salty breeze played a constant melody and the waves whispered tales of distant lands, lived a young girl named Emily. She was an inquisitive soul, always yearning for adventure and discovery. Her heart was set on exploring the world beyond the horizon, and each day, as she gazed out at the boundless sea, she felt its call. Harbor's End was a close-knit community, where everyone knew each other's name and the rhythm of life was as predictable as the tides. But Emily's spirit longed for something more, something grand and mysterious. One summer evening, as the sun dipped low on the horizon, Emily found herself perched on a weathered dock, her feet dangling above the water. She listened to the tales of the sea told by old Captain Quinn, a retired sailor who had traveled the world and seen its wonders. Ah, Emily, the old captain began, the world beyond this harbor is a place of endless wonder. There are islands with jungles that hide ancient treasures, cities that reach for the sky, and deserts where the sand stretch as far as the eye can see. Emily's eyes sparkled with curiosity. Tell me more, Captain Quinn. Tell me about the places you've seen and the adventures you've had. The captain chuckled, his eyes distant with memories. I've seen emerald green fjords in Norway, felt the heat of the Sahara's dunes beneath my boots, and marveled at the beauty of the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. But, Emily, the greatest adventure of all is the one that's yet to be had, the one you'll embark on. With those words, Captain Quinn planted a seed in Emily's heart. That night, as she lay beneath a blanket of stars, she made a decision. She would set sail, leaving Harbor's End behind to explore the world, just as the old captain had once done. Emily's journey began the following morning. She packed a small satchel with supplies, said her tearful goodbyes to her family, and set foot on a ship bound for far off shores. The voyage was not without challenges, she encountered tempestuous storms and swaying seas that tested her resolve. But Emily's determination and thirst for adventure carried her through. She marveled at the breathtaking landscapes of foreign lands, made friends with fellow travelers, and learned about the diverse cultures that populated the world. One of her most memorable encounters occurred on a remote island in the South Pacific, where she befriended a wise old storyteller named Mauna. Mauna's tales were woven with threads of ancient wisdom and vivid imagination, and he spoke of legends that stretched back for generations. Sitting around a fire on the sandy shore, Mauna shared a particular legend that caught Emily's attention. It was the story of the Isle of Whispers, a place rumored to hold a treasure of unparalleled value. But to reach it, one had to navigate treacherous waters and solve riddles that tested both wit and courage. Emily's heart quickened with excitement. She realized that the legend of the Isle of Whispers was the adventure she had been seeking, the challenge that would define her journey. She bid farewell to Mauna and set sail once more, determined to uncover the mysteries of the fabled isle. As Emily ventured further into her voyage, the challenges grew more formidable, and the allure of the Isle of Whispers intensified. Her path was fraught with peril, but she knew that every obstacle was a lesson, and every trial brought her closer to her goal. And so, with a heart filled with determination and a spirit that yearned for the unknown, Emily continued her magical voyage, ready to face whatever mysteries and adventures lay ahead. Emily's ship sailed through uncharted waters, guided by the stars and the whispers of the wind. Each day brought new discoveries and challenges. She encountered islands of lush jungles, where vibrant parrots danced among the trees, and ancient ruins held secrets waiting to be unraveled. She crossed paths with nomadic tribes, wise sages, and fellow explorers who shared tales of their own quests. As the days turned into weeks, Emily's resolve never wavered. She faced storms that tested the very timbers of her ship, and calm seas that reflected the serenity of her spirit. She learned to navigate by the constellations, a skill Captain Quinn had taught her, and found solace in the rhythmic lullaby of the waves. Point one evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon in a blaze of fiery colors, Emily spotted a mysterious glow on the horizon. It beckoned like a lighthouse in the darkness, casting a golden path on the water's surface. 
Her heart quickened with anticipation, for she knew this could be the sign she had been searching for. As she approached, Emily discovered a hidden cove, nestled between towering cliffs. The cove seemed untouched by time, its shores adorned with shells and colorful sea glass. At the heart of the cove stood an ancient stone arch, adorned with enigmatic symbols that seemed to pulse with energy. Emily's intuition told her that this was a place of significance, a place where the whispers of the sea and the secrets of the land converged. She stepped ashore, her boots sinking into the warm sand, and approached the stone arch with reverence. Suddenly, a voice, soft and melodic, filled the air. Welcome, seeker of mysteries. You have come far, and the Isle of Whispers awaits. Startled, Emily turned to find a figure emerging from the shadows. It was a woman, draped in robes of seaweed and crowned with a wreath of shimmering shells. Her eyes sparkled like the deepest ocean, holding the wisdom of ages. I am Undine, guardian of the Isle of Whispers, the woman introduced herself. You possess a heart full of curiosity and a spirit untamed by fear. You are worthy of the treasures that await. With Undine's guidance, Emily learned of the challenges that lay ahead. Riddles, trials of wit and courage, awaited her on the isle. But with each trial, Emily would gain not only the treasure she sought, but also a deeper understanding of herself and the world around her. With gratitude in her heart, Emily bid farewell to Undine and set sail towards the Isle of Whispers. The journey was not without its perils, she navigated treacherous reefs and faced challenges that pushed her to her limits. But with each obstacle, Emily grew stronger, more attuned to the rhythms of the sea and the whispers of the wind. Finally, after days of arduous sailing, the Isle of Whispers emerged on the horizon, shrouded in mist and mystery. Emily's heart pounded with a mixture of excitement and trepidation, for she knew that this was the culmination of her journey, the moment when the legends would become reality. As her ship glided into the cove of the Isle of Whispers, Emily's eyes filled with wonder. The isle held an ethereal beauty, with cliffs that reached for the sky and shores that sparkled with hidden treasures. The air seemed to hum with a magical energy, and Emily knew that she had arrived at a place where dreams and reality intertwined. With a deep breath and a heart full of courage, Emily stepped ashore, ready to face the trials that awaited her. The whispers of the isle seemed to surround her, carrying with them the promise of adventure, discovery, and the realization of her deepest desires. As Emily stepped onto the Isle of Whispers, she felt an enchanting breeze brush against her skin, carrying with it a chorus of soft voices. The whispers of the isle were like a symphony of secrets, and Emily knew she had entered a realm where the line between reality and enchantment blurred. Before her lay a dense forest, where the trees seemed to sway in rhythm with the whispers, their leaves shimmering like emeralds. Emily's heart quickened as she recalled the legend of the Isle of Whispers, within this forest, she would face her first trial. With resolute determination, Emily ventured into the woods, following the glow of fireflies that danced ahead. She soon came upon an ancient stone bridge, spanning a chasm of impenetrable darkness. A riddle was etched into the stone, in daylight, I am absent from view, but when night falls, I come into you. I'm the dreamer's delight, the sailor's guide, a million twinkling lights by your side. What am I? Emily furrowed her brow, pondering the riddle. She knew it held the key to crossing the bridge and continuing her journey. As she contemplated the words, a soft voice whispered in her ear, stars. Eyes alight with realization. Emily replied, stars. With those words, the stone bridge shimmered and transformed into a path of stardust, guiding her across the chasm. The whispers of the isle grew louder, as if celebrating her success. Emily knew she had passed the first trial. The forest gave way to a tranquil meadow, where a sparkling river wound its way through the landscape. On the opposite bank stood a massive stone door, adorned with intricate carvings. Another riddle awaited her, I'm always hungry, I never tire, if fed, I grow, if starved, I expire. I am a beast of infinite might, yet I'm bound in darkness, never in light. What am I? 
This riddle was more challenging, and Emily took her time to consider it. The whispers of the aisle seemed to carry hints on the breeze. She heard fragments of conversations, faint laughter, and the sound of water flowing. After what felt like hours of contemplation, Emily's eyes lit up with understanding. Time, she declared. The stone door slowly creaked open, revealing a tunnel that led deep into the earth. Emily followed the passage, guided by the whispers that echoed with approval. She knew she was drawing closer to the heart of the aisle. The tunnel eventually gave way to a vast underground chamber, illuminated by a gentle, ethereal glow. At its center stood a pedestal, upon which rested a magnificent mirror. It was the fabled mirror of desires, the treasure she had sought. The mirror seemed to pulse with a life of its own, its surface rippling like a tranquil pond. Emily approached it, her heart pounding with anticipation. She knew that gazing into the mirror would reveal her deepest desires, but she also understood that the mirror held the wisdom to discern the purity of her intentions. With a steady breath, Emily looked into the mirror of desires, her eyes reflecting a world of hopes and dreams. She felt as though the mirror peered into the very depths of her soul, examining her truest intentions. The mirror's surface remained still for a moment, then it began to shimmer and reveal a vision. Emily's heart swelled with awe as she saw an image of herself, surrounded by family and friends, her village and harbor's end thriving, and the world at peace. It was a vision of a world filled with love, compassion, and unity. With a sense of fulfillment and understanding, Emily knew that the mirror had recognized her pure heart and noble intentions. She had passed the final trial, and the treasure was hers. But as she reached out to touch the mirror, a powerful surge of energy emanated from its surface, engulfing her in a blinding light. Emily felt herself being transported, as if the very essence of the isle had chosen to reveal its secrets to her. And so, in that magical moment, Emily's journey on the Isle of Whispers took an unexpected turn, unveiling new mysteries, challenges, and adventures that lay beyond the mirror's reflection. She knew that her quest was far from over, and with renewed determination, she embraced the enchantment of the isle and ventured deeper into its secrets. The blinding light that enveloped Emily gradually dissipated, and she found herself standing in a place of breathtaking beauty. Before her stretched a lush, otherworldly landscape, where the boundaries of reality and imagination seemed to blur, she had entered a realm where the whispers of the isle held sway over the very fabric of existence. The flora here shimmered with vibrant colors unknown to the outside world, and the fauna seemed to be born from the dreams of children. This was a place where imagination became reality, and Emily knew she had embarked on the most extraordinary leg of her journey. As Emily explored this wondrous realm, she encountered creatures of legend and myth. Fire-breathing dragons soared overhead, their scales glistening with an iridescent sheen. Playful unicorns grazed in fields of moonlit flowers, and mischievous sprites danced in the glimmering groves. But the most enchanting discovery of all was the presence of the isle's inhabitants, the Whisperers. They were ethereal beings, with translucent wings that shimmered like rainbows. The Whisperers were custodians of the isle, protectors of its magic, and bearers of its ancient wisdom. One day, as Emily wandered through a forest of trees that sang sweet melodies, she came upon a gathering of whisperers. They greeted her with smiles of welcome, their voices like wind chimes in a gentle breeze. We have been expecting you, seeker of mysteries, one of the whisperers said. You have shown yourself to be pure of heart and noble of spirit, and so the Isle of Whispers has opened its secrets to you. Emily listened intently as the whisperers shared tales of the isle's history and the magic that flowed through every leaf and blade of grass. They spoke of the interconnectedness of all things, of the importance of kindness and harmony, and of the power of dreams. As Emily absorbed their wisdom, she realized that the Isle of Whispers was not just a place of trials and challenges, it was a realm of transformation and enlightenment. She had come seeking a treasure, but she had found something far greater, a deeper understanding of herself and the world around her. Time passed in the company of the Whisperers, and Emily felt herself changing, growing, and evolving. 
she discovered hidden talents within herself and uncovered a sense of purpose that extended beyond her own desires. She had become a part of the isle, and the isle had become a part of her. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon in a blaze of colors, the whisperers gathered around Emily. It is time, seeker of mysteries, they said. Time for you to return to your world, carrying with you the magic and wisdom of the Isle of Whispers. With a heart full of gratitude and a spirit fortified by the enchantment of the Isle, Emily bid farewell to her newfound friends. She knew that her journey was far from over, that the whispers of the Isle would guide her even beyond its shores. As Emily stepped through the shimmering portal that would return her to the world she had left behind, she felt a profound sense of purpose and wonder. She carried with her the knowledge that the world was filled with mysteries waiting to be uncovered, and that her quest for adventure and discovery would continue. And so, with a heart full of gratitude and a spirit filled with the enchantment of the Isle of Whispers, Emily returned to Harbor's End, where her family and friends welcomed her with open arms. She shared her tales of wonder and wisdom, inspiring others to embark on their own journeys of discovery. Emily's life was forever changed by her magical voyage, but she knew that the greatest adventure of all was the one that lay ahead. With each new sunrise, she embraced the mysteries of the world, knowing that the whispers of the isle would forever guide her on a path of wonder and enchantment. And so, the story of Emily's magical voyage became a legend in Harbor's End, a tale of courage, curiosity, and the enduring magic of the human spirit. It was a reminder that the world is a place of endless wonder, waiting to be explored by those who dare to dream and listen to the whispers of their own hearts. Emily's return to Harbor's End marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life. She had experienced the wonders of the Isle of Whispers, but her heart remained open to the mysteries that awaited her in the world beyond. She knew that the Isle had given her a gift, the gift of perspective and purpose. With newfound wisdom and a profound sense of connection to the world, Emily became a beacon of inspiration in her small coastal town. She shared the tales of her magical voyage, igniting the sparks of curiosity and adventure in the hearts of her fellow villagers, young and old alike. People began to see harbors end with fresh eyes, as if the everyday had become extraordinary. They explored hidden corners of their town, uncovered long-forgotten stories, and forged bonds with their neighbors. Emily's return had breathed new life into Harbor's End, and it flourished like never before. But Emily's journey was far from over. The whispers of the Isle of Whispers still echoed in her dreams, urging her to explore the world beyond the familiar shores of Harbor's End. She knew that her destiny lay in continued exploration and discovery. One day, as she gazed out at the boundless sea, Emily's heart swelled with longing. She longed to set sail once more, to journey to distant lands and uncover their secrets. But she also knew that she couldn't embark on this adventure alone. And so, Emily decided to gather a group of fellow explorers from Harbor's End. She shared her vision of a grand expedition to uncharted territories, a voyage that would take them to the farthest reaches of the world. Her enthusiasm was infectious, and soon, a diverse group of adventurers, each with their own unique talents and dreams, had assembled. Together, they set sail on a ship they christened, the Whispering Wind, in honor of the magical isle that had forever changed Emily's life. Their journey was a testament to the power of unity, curiosity, and the enduring human spirit. The adventures that awaited them were as varied as the colors of the sea. They explored ancient ruins, charted unmapped islands, and encountered cultures that were as diverse as the stars in the night sky. Along the way, they learned the importance of respect, understanding, and harmony with the natural world. As the years passed, Emily and her companions became not only explorers but also ambassadors of peace and knowledge. They shared their discoveries and experiences with the world, fostering connections between distant lands and cultures. Emily never forgot the lessons she had learned on the Isle of Whispers, the interconnectedness of all things, the importance of kindness and empathy, and the power of dreams to shape the world. She carried these lessons with her, a reminder that every corner of the world held its own enchantment and magic. 
And so, the tale of Emily's magical voyage continued, a journey of a lifetime filled with wonder, adventure, and the enduring belief that the world is a place of endless mysteries, waiting to be uncovered by those who dare to listen to the whispers of their hearts. As Emily and her intrepid crew continued their grand expedition, they encountered a series of challenges and wonders that tested the limits of their resolve and expanded the horizons of their understanding. One of their most unforgettable experiences occurred in the heart of the Amazon rainforest, where they found themselves surrounded by an orchestra of wildlife and the vibrant tapestry of biodiversity. Here, they met the indigenous people who called this pristine wilderness home. The tribal elders shared their ancient wisdom with Emily and her crew, teaching them the importance of living in harmony with nature and preserving the delicate balance of the rainforest. It was a lesson that left an indelible mark on the explorers, and they pledged to advocate for the conservation of this vital ecosystem. Their journey also led them to the vast, frozen landscapes of Antarctica, where towering icebergs and curious penguins greeted them. Here, they bore witness to the effects of climate change and the fragility of our planet's polar regions. Emily and her companions became advocates for environmental conservation, using their adventures to raise awareness about the urgent need to protect Earth's natural wonders. They joined forces with scientists and activists, working towards a sustainable future for the planet they loved. One of the most touching moments of their journey occurred in a remote village in Africa, where they encountered children who faced daily hardships with unwavering resilience and hope. Inspired by their spirit, Emily's crew established a foundation to support education and healthcare initiatives in underprivileged communities around the world. The adventures of Emily and her companions were not just about exploration and discovery, they were a testament to the transformative power of compassion, unity, and the pursuit of a better world. As the years rolled by, their voyages took them to every corner of the globe. They traversed the bustling markets of Marrakesh, trekked through the serene landscapes of New Zealand, and marveled at the ancient wonders of Machu Picchu. Each experience enriched their lives and deepened their appreciation for the diversity of the world, but it was during a journey to the heart of the Himalayas that Emily found herself reflecting on the extraordinary voyage that had brought her to this point. She stood at the base of Mount Everest, the highest point on earth, and felt a profound sense of accomplishment and gratitude. The whispers of the Isle of Whispers, though distant now, still echoed in her heart. They reminded her that the journey of discovery was endless, and that the world would forever be a place of wonder and enchantment. And so, Emily's story became a legend, a tale of courage, curiosity, and the enduring magic of the human spirit. She had embarked on a voyage seeking a treasure, but what she had found was far greater, an understanding of the interconnectedness of all things, the importance of kindness and empathy, and the power of dreams to shape the world. As Emily and her companions sailed into the sunset, their sails billowing in the wind, they knew that their adventures would continue, and that the whispers of their hearts would guide them to new horizons, new discoveries, and new wonders. Emily's final voyage was one of reflection and celebration. She invited all those who had been a part of her incredible journey to join her for a grand gathering in Harbor's End. The coastal town had transformed since her first departure. It had become a hub of exploration, a place where dreamers and adventurers from all walks of life came together to share their stories and embark on new quests. As Emily stood on the same weathered dock where she had once listened to Captain Quinn's tales, she looked out at the bustling harbor. Ships of all sizes and shapes bobbed on the waves, their crews preparing for journeys of their own. It was a testament to the enduring spirit of discovery that had been ignited within the community. The celebration was a vibrant tapestry of cultures and experiences. There were musicians playing melodies from distant lands, artisans showcasing their crafts, and storytellers spinning tales of adventure and wonder. The air was filled with laughter, the scent of exotic spices, and the joyful chatter of kindred spirits. Throughout the festivities, Emily found herself surrounded by old friends and new faces, fellow explorers, wise sages, and kindred souls who had been touched by the magic of her journey. They shared their own tales of adventure, of discoveries made in the farthest reaches of the world, and of the lessons they had learned along the way. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the sky in a palette of fiery hues, 
Emily stood before the gathered crowd. Her eyes sparkled with a mixture of gratitude, nostalgia, and a quiet anticipation for the adventures that still awaited her. My dear friends, she began, her voice carrying over the gentle lapping of the waves, we stand here today as living proof that the world is a place of endless wonder and possibility. Our journeys have taken us to places beyond our wildest dreams, and we have learned that every corner of the world holds its own unique magic. Emily's words resonated with the crowd, and she could see the spark of inspiration in their eyes. She spoke of the importance of cherishing the natural world, of preserving its beauty for generations to come. She encouraged kindness, empathy, and a deep respect for the cultures and traditions that made the world a tapestry of diversity. As the night grew darker, the stars began to emerge, casting their gentle light upon the gathering. Emily felt a sense of peace wash over her, unknowing that her journey, though marked by incredible adventures, was only a chapter in the grand story of the world. And so, with a heart full of gratitude and a spirit forever touched by the whispers of the Isle of Whispers, Emily set out once more. This time, her ship was not bound for a distant shore, but for the boundless horizon that stretched before her. Her legacy lived on in the hearts of those she had inspired, in the stories that would be passed down through generations, and in the enduring belief that the world was a place of boundless mysteries, waiting to be uncovered by those who dared to dream. As Emily's ship sailed into the night, its sails catching the breeze, she looked back one final time at the twinkling lights of Harbor's End. The town that had once been her starting point had now become a beacon of exploration, a testament to the infinite potential that resided within every human heart. And so, the story of Emily's magical voyage lived on, woven into the fabric of the world itself, a tale of courage, curiosity, and the enduring magic of the human spirit, a tale that whispered to all who heard it, the adventure awaits. The world is yours to discover.